What's up, buns? Here's a quick guide on what you need to look out for the next patch 6.45 coming soon. So make sure to drop a like to support this new style content for Final Fantasy XIV patches. We have our next step for Mandeville coming for Relic Weapons, which means to get at least one weapon to the second stage, which is not all that difficult since all of it costs tombstones. We will see what they make the next step. I honestly don't know at this point, or even if they said something about it, but if it's tombstones again, so help me. Just kidding. I guess take it as a big W for the free Relic Weapon upgrade since they do look super cool. The next thing we're getting is upgrades to blue mages. We are getting the next 10 levels and new spells, which I know a lot of blue mage enjoyers are really looking forward to playing as well as seeing the new rare blue mage mount. I'm not sure quite what it is yet. I'm actually excited for this glam though that we're gonna be getting as it's making me look big pimpin and I can't wait to see how it looks like on Vera. We're getting upgrades to our Splendorious tools. I need to catch up with these myself as I've been putting them off, but they tend to have really cool glamour effects, which is few and far between for us who love crafting and gathering. We usually post the new macros in our Discord for the new tool step, so you can join that if you want an easy ride to the next step. On the battle side of things, we're getting new Criterion and Variant Dungeons. I have yet to complete the previous Criterion, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and now that I have more people to play with in my Discord, I think we can knock these out pretty easily. The first boss of the previous Criterion was super fun and interesting, and I feel like this is going to be an outlet for devs to come up with really awesome four-man content. This is the mount you get for your Criterion Dungeon Troubles. I'm sure there'll be guides for the new variant that come out as well, which I will also post up in my Discord when they release. Variant isn't really difficult, but they do have a lot of corks and fun little things you can do in there, and they usually have a lot of different paths to choose from, so you're going to want a guide to make sure you don't miss anything. I'm really looking forward to these next few pieces of content to push us into 6.5 and see where this story goes and on our way to 7.0. Thank you to all my Bun supporters on Patreon and YouTube and Discord as your monthly donations help keep this channel up and running. And all those who like and comment help immensely to push these videos out. Appreciate you all and hi, I'm Bun Boss and I make guides, tutorials and news for Final Fantasy 14, which you can watch more by clicking here.